ethnic violence between Uzbeks and Kyrgyz in southern Kyrgyzstan has escalated over the weekend uh, to reach a high point in intensity since the uprising in Kyrgyzstan. The situation right now is that different players are assessing how to react, namely Russia and Uzbekistan, as far as military intervention to quell the violence. Kyrgyzstan has a large population of Uzbeks within its borders. The whole reason that this has spurred up in the first place is because of these inter-ethnic uh, tensions that have been there for a long time. This isn't just something that's new. And these have been simmering, particularly since the breakup of the Soviet Union. The key questions right now are how do the two most important players in the region react? The first one is, is Uzbekistan. They actually have had a lot of troop movements up near the border and the question is will they actually go beyond the border into Kyrgyzstan? The other question is how does Russia react to this or prevent this from happening? But when outside players become involved, that's when there's the possibility of it becoming not just an internal Kyrgyz matter, but something that spreads to the region and possibly even beyond. What makes Kyrgyzstan actually a very strategic country is that it stations not only Russian troops uh, in a military base there, but also U.S. troops in Manas, which is in northern Kyrgyzstan, that is a supply route into Afghanistan. These next two days, Russia will decide whether it deems that it's necessary to go into Kyrgyzstan, and that could set off a number of triggers that could eventually uh, prompt some big moves made by Russia, by Uzbekistan, and possibly by the United States.